Hey everybody, it's January 17th. That means we're reading John chapter 14, verses 15 through 31. So yesterday, Jesus was teaching uh, the, uh, the teaching about that he was the way, the truth, and the life. And he kept telling his disciples um, that they need to uh, not only love him, but keep his commandments. Well, he continues that, but he also continues that with a promise. Um, and so we get into verse 15, and he, and he says again, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. But then he goes on and talks about this promise. Um, this promise is that he's sending a helper. Notice in your uh, in your Bible, the word helper is a capital H. Uh, that's talking about the Holy Spirit. Jesus says that he's going away, but he's sending a helper. He's going to send somebody um, that's going to help us just like Jesus helped the disciples. That the helper is going to, that is going to help the disciples um, even more than Jesus uh, helped them while he was on the earth. So this is a, this is a great a great promise. But we can see in verse 18, once again, he says, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Um, and, and so once again, he, Jesus is saying that he's leaving, but he's also saying that he's coming back. But in the meantime, he is giving us the Holy Spirit, the helper, right? These are, these are great verses to kind of just to remember uh, when you're feeling down, right? That, that we have a helper, that Jesus has left us, but he hasn't left us forever, that Jesus is coming back and that he's given us somebody um, that we can use and that can help us. Um, and once again, in verse 23, it says that Jesus answered him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him. So now it's not just saying that if you love me, you will keep my word. But now Jesus is saying, if you love me and you keep my word, then the father, then the God, then God um, will love you. And so we can see that as a Christian, not only do, if we accept Christ into our life, not only do we try to live according to the word, not only do we have the Holy Spirit in us, so now the Holy Spirit is in us and loves us, Jesus is in us and loves us, but also the Father is in us and loves us. Uh, and so it's just kind of an amazing uh, kind of just really quick sentence that you can read over, but it's something that is so powerful. The whole triune God, right? The Father, the Son, and the Spirit is all loving us and working for us um, that that we might bring his kingdom to this, to this earth. Um, and so uh, we can see in verse 26, it says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you to remembrance of all that I have said. Remember, Jesus has been walking with these disciples for um, about three years, right? So about three years. And you can imagine all the things that these disciples have seen and heard. And Jesus has spent a great deal of time talking with them and teaching with them and all that they've seen. But here he's promising to them and also promising to us um, that there's there's somebody coming, right? There's that helper that is coming. And that helper is coming to do what? He's going to teach us and he's going to help us to remember. Uh, when you think about that, what does that really mean? What What is this Holy Spirit going to teach us, right? He's going to teach us God's word. What is he going to help us to remember? God's word. You see, you see how that works out? So when somebody becomes a Christian, if they do not read God's word, if they are not planted in God's word, then the Holy Spirit is, is kind of a deficit, right? He, he's not, he doesn't have God's word to be able to teach you and to help you remember because you're not doing what you should be doing, right? If you love me, you will keep my commandments, which is his word, uh, and the Father will love you. And so this whole kind of passage reminding us that Jesus is leaving in less than a week, um, but he's sending a helper. And more importantly, it's more than just a love of Jesus. It's just more than just a love of a Savior, but it is in knowing his word and keeping his word. And then that is how the Spirit will react in us. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this. Um, uh, I hope you're, we're getting through this. I hope it's making more sense. I'm hoping that um, John is coming to life for you. Uh, don't forget that our prayer focus today is for the visitors that are in uh, the sanctuary this morning um, or in the evening, right? People who are coming 
Um, and even we can take that a step further for anybody in our sanctuary um, that will hear God's word this morning, um, but does not know uh, their Lord and Savior, does not know Jesus. So they may have heard of him, um, they may know about him, but they don't truly love him and know his words. And so let's pray for that this morning. Guys, I hope you have a great day and we will see you tomorrow. God bless.